Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading, alright? I don't know, I just love natural lighting. That's why I try to do my readings um, in the daytime. I like, you know, nighttime readings too. But let's go ahead and get right into this. Everything you need to know about me is down below. If you want to book a personal reading, check out the store at me on TikTok pattern or the Instagram, alright? As well as tip your girl or, you know, show the channel some love or donate to the channel. All those things are definitely down below. So, first things first, I was not going to do a reading today, um, but something is pulling at my energy. And it's like, do this reading, do this reading. I don't know what it's going to be about, so I'm going to pull some cards and see what's going on. But I am also going to, um, excuse me, pull your energy first. There was a deck I was using yesterday. Here it is. I'm going to be using the Five Cent Tarot. I actually really, really like this deck. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull your energy first, Aquarius, and then we're going to go ahead and pull the five cards. Let's see. What does the Aquarius need to know at this current time being? Come here, Domino. Close the door. You know you can't go in there, girl. Okay, so what's showing the most to me is the four of pentacles here. All right, and then I have the Hermit card. The Hermit cards keep coming out a lot for you guys in the readings. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, Four of Pentacles, Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles, Heavy Earth, Sign Energy, Heavy Material Realm Energy. So, hmm. Let's see, why do we have this? Now, I want to go ahead and pull five cards and see what the reading is actually going to be about. Because I'm just trying to figure this out. The first card we have is full body massage. It could be literal or it could be like a entendre as well. I put a couple entendres in there. So, but let's go ahead and see. Let me, I'm, I'm going to feel, I'm not, I'm going to feel. Something about somebody's feelings, but I'm going to see. I'm going to pull five cards. Um, okay, so friends. What about your friends? Are they going to be around? Are they going to stand their ground? Yeah. I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie. But black, back when they used to have blockbusters, babes, I got the movie from there. Like, okay, then I have, I don't play that. I don't play that. Okay, so by King Von, I think he is a Sag. Side bitch being hid. Hmm. party because we like to party and maybe somebody could have recently listened to party next door i said i'm gonna do five cards but i kind of want to do a nine card spread mm, spirits around you okay so sex parties this reminds me of that song by Lil Dirk called Drug Party. So, push pause on a motherfucking play. Um, Aquarius, what's going on right now? I'm just going to use this other deck. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to use it. So, Aquarius, we have the four pentacles. So, your energy. Like I said, you could be being conservative at this current time, being here, maybe keeping your good news or what you have going on or the tea. All tea. No shade. All what, what cosmetics anonymous she be saying i love her um all shade no tea okay um yeah queen of wands you could be keeping like your energy your secrets what you have going on your business plans your magic or more importantly your power um your power ups or you know what makes you happy what makes you feel strong you may be keeping these things to yourself or you're in your bag right now like um that song cognac queen by meg the stallion i'm i'm on my yak yeah cognac queen Fuck is you saying? Fuck do you mean? Um, yeah, I just feel like you're very conservative. You're focused on your security. You're focused on what's actually meant for you. Also, the hermit mode, you could definitely be like out of touch with your friends or these people or whatever's going on. I feel like you're out of touch or you have more pressing matters. You could be doing shout out work right now. Or like I said, you know, you're not going out at night. You're staying home. You're putting your robe on. You're doing your self care. You know, you're just vibing. Okay. And then we have nine of pentacles. You could definitely be, you know, um, worried about your own company. Um, you know, Taking part in your luxuries, um, good things that are for you, fulfilling yourself, your desires, accumulating your wealth, and kind of just stacking, saving. And um, I'm also hearing the song, the song Rising and Rolling Papers by Fabulous. That could be a significance. 
Um, maybe you're just smoking by yourself or you're doing your own thing. But right now, um, you're just possessive of your time, your energy, and what's for you. Also, what I can say is that, you know, you may be isolating yourself or withdrawing from your friend group, social interactions, parties, invites, etc. And you're not overextending yourself, your energy, etc. And I feel like, you know, you're just sitting back watching, okay? But there are a lot of spirits around you at this current time being here. So, like I said, um, this song, Heaven All Around Me by Saba, could be of significance. Um... But like I said, there are spirits around you. For some of you guys here, there could be like entities that you owe them or they owe you. Um, that's going to be a different message. Um, and for others of you guys here, there could be spirits around you as in like, you know, familiar spirits, um, you know, um, your ancestors, your spiritual team, etc. But there could be, you could be getting cues or like there's some type of cues here. Also, if somebody died in an accidental shooting here or they got shot, that spirit is either lingering around you or they visit you or somebody you're dealing with often. Or a friend often. This could have been a friend that's happened to as well too. The color yellow, you could have seen a yellow butterfly. It could be a significance, but party. <sighs> yeah. So what's going on right now is that people who you are friends with there's like a friend group it's just i'm specifically speaking to somebody who has a friend group or they go out with their friends or you have a lot of friends or you have a tight new group of friends who you fuck with this is not going to resonate for everybody um what's going on is that while you're taking your high 80 from your friendship or doing this and doing that you're getting your full body massages or like i said you're just trying to indulge in your self-care um there is either your friends or a friend in particular who either they're having sex parties or flings or orgies or two mans and three mans you know those are of significance and this friend is basically doing this because either they have low self-esteem or they don't have a lot of confidence and i feel like you know when you're around your friends or you're around these individuals you instill confidence you give them that glow they feed off of your energy or you know um if you're shining they're shining okay if you got it i got it um maybe somebody says that but i don't play that so what's going on is while all this is going on, somebody has a side bitch. Somebody has a side bitch. Who is this side bitch? That's what I'm looking at. Oh shit. Okay, so the three cups, whoever the side bitch at, they they're bad news and they be in they be at these parties or there's a side bitch. That your friends or somebody knows about here who who be getting down like that who something about a hotel scene could be significant somebody could be like a sex worker a escort a dancer have only fans or somebody just gets down nitty gritty okay they go to sex parties or you know they have they have the drop on these also it's giving me the energy if you ever lived in like houston you lived in um atlanta la vegas or like a big city you know how like um when you're a part of the lgbtq uh, especially like the down lows and the gays and the trades and stuff like that. There are a lot of sex parties, orgies, organizations, things that go on at night. Or, you know, there are a lot of clubs down here to where you have to have a certain code. They change the code every every week or whatever. And, you know, if you have the code, you're able to get into the secret bar or the secret lair or whatever is downtown. Or, I'm not downtown, excuse me, down underground or underground parties. Maybe somebody went to the underground. This could be a significance here, but, um... Like I said, whoever this side bitch is, this is this is somebody here who like um is trying to like seduce it's getting like seduce a person or something. Like not only are they trying to uh, to rile in your friend, like this person is like a mutual of your friends or they met this person at a party, one of these sex parties, one or one of these individual uh um uh, events or outings here, yeah. And I feel like with you being the Queen of Wands, you don't play that shit like Whoever your friends is, they know they also fucked up shit. But the spirits around you could be trying to warn you about what's going on, but also protecting you from what you're not seeing and also revealing it, okay? They're protecting you from it, but they want you to see what's going on. It's so many different birds chattering outside all of a sudden. Like I said, there's a lot of chatter going on behind the scenes while you're taking your hiatus from your friends, okay? Or whoever you think is your friends. But yeah, there are some side bitch here that's being hidden. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. Not equal give and take here. Like, somebody's not being loyal or, you know, this is just what it is. They're trying to finagle, finesse, or, you know, this is what this side bitch is doing. Finagle, finesse, or somehow reel in your friends, reel you in, and reel your person in. Because I'm specifically talking to a group of individuals to where whoever your person is, they know... Like, whoever you're friends with or you fuck with or whatever it is, somehow they're mutually involved. They know each other. So I have bloodstone. It says detoxifying root, heart, and sacral. 
the next card i have is past life patterns so like i said whoever this side bitch that is being hit or trying to stay hidden they've been doing this for multiple lifetimes here always following you or your person or whatever's going on and trying to get them to choose the dark side or trying to corrupt them uh or get them caught up in these six parties escapades these orgies also somebody could work for a fortune 500 company or somebody could be a part of a corporate entity or group all right for some of you guys this could definitely be um if you're an aquarius um either you're friends with celebrities you're the celebrity here or um it's, it's giving this i'm also hearing kanye west say stadium status so gemini, gemini energy gemini energy social interactions friends hanging out having a good time this is the, um, of significance here um but yeah it's kind of like right place well wrong place wrong time yeah, I feel like you're going to play that shit. Because I feel like... Let's pull two more cards. This is going on behind the scenes. It's, this is what it's giving her. It's like somebody's playing. What do we have? Yeah, change lanes. You may need to change lanes. Like I said, you have changed lanes. You're focusing on yourself. You're taking time for yourself. And more importantly, you just focus on shit that actually is worrying about you. Like you focus on your bag, your self-care, your independence. You're discovering yourself, who you are, what you like, your purpose, etc. Yeah, sexually frustrated. Like somebody is sexually frustrated. Either this is your friend's... Um, some of you guys is your person, but I don't think that. I think whoever this side bitch is is sexually frustrated. And they're trying to go and reel your friends in. And, um, because your friends are confident. Your friends have low self-esteem. Or there's a friend in their friend group who has low self-esteem. And they indulge in shit like that because it gives them satisfaction. Or it makes them feel some type of way. Or it makes them feel macho or whatever it is. Yeah. I have um, Amethyst, let me cut the deck, it's a listen to your intuition, it's is your birthstone, Aquarius. Then I have Ruby, which is passion, like I said, listen to your intuition about this passionate um, message here, this is not going to be for everybody, but if it does resonate, I will greatly appreciate it if you like the video or you comment. Um, but yeah, this is what's going on. Because whoever this side bitch is who's being hidden or trying to hide themselves... These both fit in the reverse. Yeah, will a fortune reverse and a temperance card reverse? They could be a sad or a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Or your friend it could be a fire sign. Because I have earth energy and I have fire energy. But what's going on, whoever the side bitch is, they're unbalanced. They're uncanny. They're not that smart, but they think that they're very bright. And also with the will of fortune reverse, they are a misfortunate. They are bad luck or they're just not. It's not giving, period. Yeah, we got the queen of swords here. And what's behind the queen of swords? Yeah, the ace of cups. Like this is going on behind your back. We have the seven of cups, the high priestess, and the judgment card. This is going on behind your back, or this is like somebody's plot or plan behind your back, but with you being the high priestess and the queen of swords. Not only are you intellectual, you're very smart, but you're intuitively on point, or your spiritual gifts are um, definitely on the rise right now. And I feel like justice, you will get your justice in a situation where this will be um, justified here, or will be brung, you know, it, it, it will be handled. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely, yeah, King of Pentacles and the, and the Knight of Swords. This is definitely going on behind the scenes. Like I said, somebody met somebody at a party here, at a job or some sort. But yeah, King of Pentacles, it's all about money. It's all about what this person can get. And I feel like with you being inside or you being in hermit mode, while somebody else is out partaking or parlaying or whatever they're doing, this is what's going on. I apologize if my nails look dirty, y'all. I literally just got done cooking uh, broccoli and garlic and all this extra stuff. Yeah. I'm going to cut them down after this video because my nails grow, like, really quickly. But anyways, this is what's going on. Like I said, you need to be changing lanes or you're trying to change lanes and do something. The minute you give a motherfucker an inch, they take a motherfucking mile. Or it's always some adverse reaction or shit that happens here. Yeah, because whoever your friends are, let's go ahead and shuffle the deck for a second. Whoever your friends are, or friend is or friend group in particular with the full card of verse, they know this is a risky, naive, reckless type of move here. And they think that you're naive. But I feel like with the Emperor Ten of Cups, the Empress and the Six of Wands, they know that you guys are Emperor and Empress. Or they know that whoever you and your person is, you guys are equally yoked. Or you guys are both divine. And, you know, like I said, these friends, Ten of Cups, they act like they're, they fuck with y'all. Or they happy for y'all. Or they bring you emotional fulfillment. Or whatever it is. But Six of Wands, they only want to win at their own cost. I feel like with both of you guys winning, or both of you guys being winners or you know the masculine energy is emotionally fulfilled they got the family etc or whatever it is or they feel emotionally sound and then here's the feminine energy six of wands who's on their high horse parading around having a good time being successful being victorious and like i said who these friends are y'all make them feel not confident y'all make them feel weak y'all make them feel like you know that they are not worth a damn or they can't match up to you guys so like i said the world of fortune keeps coming out in reverse and we have the stream card not the strength, excuse me, temperance card, the queen of wands. This is why they're trying to um, create this misfortune to throw off this divine balance. Yeah. 
yeah, eight of cups. And I feel like they're not trying to leave the drawing board or, you know, more importantly with the page of wands. They're encouraging travel or, you know, this is like, I don't know, I'm getting like um, in the brink of night. I'm just, I'm, I just heard in the brink of night. Okay. You got three of pentacles. You got two of swords and nine of wands. You're not seeing it and they're having a hard time believing or a hard time digesting what's going on with you and your person. Um, what cards are these? You got the two of swords, the page of pentacles, two of pentacles, the magician card. Somebody literally conjured this up or this is somebody's mad plan here of some type of destruction to create an abomination of some type of sort. Like what? <sighs> yeah, seven of wands. Crossing your teeth, dotting your eyes. I feel like you will persevere and move forward here. But like I said, whoever your so-called friend is or friends are, groups or mutuals or whoever you think you're cool with, they're not who you think they are. Like I said, you could be having a hard time digesting this or whoever the masculine or feminine, whoever the person is who is experiencing this, your person, they're trying to, they're having a hard time trying to figure out why it's just happening, who the fuck is stirring this shit up. Let's go ahead and pull some what's brewing up cards here. What's brewing up in a situation. Yeah, then I have the police. So the divine stepping in and, and um Yeah, we got a couple cards here. We have the realistic stain. So this is the third party, the side bitch. We got the spoil. So like I said, you're spoiled, you're sitting pretty, you're in Empress energy. If you're a man, you're sitting in Emperor energy. And then we have the police kind of like, okay, cut this out of the divine. The ancestral spiritual team is not letting this happen. Or like I said. We have a justice card. Karma will fulfill itself. We got two cards here. Like I said, caution, caution, private relationship. You guys are in a private relationship or you guys are dealing with each other. But like I said, somebody's brainstorming on how to, uh, you could, your person could be brainstorming on how to figure this out, but, or figure this shit out or get themselves out of a situation and not be involved. But whoever the friends are, you may need to protect yourself from this friends or kick them to the motherfucking curb. Or stop dealing with this individual. Yeah, because this person is spiritually attacking you. And they're attacking your relationship or attacking whatever this is. Yeah, sexual protection. They may even want to sleep with your person. Like I said, they know what's going on. They're going to destroy this um, union or destroy what you guys have going on. Yeah, and have your person in their feelings because this person's in their feelings. Every time they come around, like I said, this person makes a lot of bad choices. So they want your person to indulge in this. This could definitely be a masculine friend, whether it's a man or a female. Okay? And this person feels less than, or they I feel like, you know, that they ain't shit. Like I said, you guys are both diamonds. You're born to shine. And I feel like this person don't want to hear shit a lot going on. They don't want to hear no good news. They don't hear no advice. No, I told you. So they don't want to hear shit from you unless it's bad or negative or on their vibrational plane, which is a little bit low. Okay. You need to protect yourself from this friends, friend group, or mutuals, or society of people, or whatever the fuck is going on. Yeah. I feel like what's done in the dark is going to come to the light here. Their true intentions are going to start showing if they haven't been already. But this person know that they fucked up. They know they fucked up trying to even be a part of this or do no shit like that. Yeah, Prince says either you're pregnant, you and your person are trying for a baby. Or like I said, whoever this side bitch is, they hoping that they get pregnant. Okay, but um, child, this is a messy ass reading. I sit down here to do some motherfucking readings for y'all and this is a messy messy so let's see what you need to do Aquarius in a situation because what okay I have the two of swords and I have the devil card here so in a situation with the tempest card you need to try to figure out you know what are the toxic um triggers of your person and what's really going on with the moon card get out of this confused or fear based energy okay or, or I'm getting clear the confusion from your person Get them not confused here. You have ten of wands. Somebody's goal will not be accomplished. Let's see what Aquarius needs to be doing. What should be their next moves here? So we have the five of swords. Okay, so you may need to um surrender the situation here. Or I'm getting not worried about it. Because it's going to cause an argument. So you may want to address it with those friends or friend group or whatever's going on. But it's best to kind of leave things where they are. Let the chips fall where they may. Yes, yeah, Sun Carl, because I feel like your authenticity, you standing in your power, your purpose, it's more important. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you're showing up as a motherly energy or somebody who's very caring or loving. But I feel like, you know, this is not the time. This is the time to cut off this friends or group, friend group or whoever these individuals are. But more importantly, there's, there's no reconciling. I don't care if somebody has remorse, they know they fucked up, whatever it is. Somebody who's acting out of pessimistic, maniac, discontent from miserable, lame, low vibrational energy was only focus on themselves or only what's self-preserving or you know feeling entitled they feel like you've thought your shit and think or motherfuckers feeling entitled to you your time your energy your person or whatever's going on and i feel like you know somebody's indecision to how they truly feel or how you really make them feel or them being fake or phony this is like um 
exposing them. Yeah, Nine of Wands, like I said, you are resilient. You will move forward. Okay, you do have a strong will and a strong purpose, so nothing can take you or your person down. However, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like... This is what it, this is what it is. The Moon card, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody thought they was going to tame this or they thought this situation or this trick or ploy or whatever this was was going to be attainable. Yep, four swords. But now they're left looking, trying to retro, um, in retrospect here, looking back or, you know, trying to recuperate from what they thought was going to work with the high priestess. You cannot fool the high priestess. All right, you can see that. Um, and then we also have the ancestors here working with the high priestess. So like I said, it, it's it's nothing. You don't know Nathaniels. You don't know Nathaniels. Because I whole ain't talking about Nathaniels. I the whole ain't talking about Nathaniels. Let's talk about nothing. But you card energy. Like I said, there has to be a decision made. But like I said, um, somebody's going to act like they're innocent or act like they're not talking about. But go ahead and call out the cycle. This is a spiritual test. Um, master this so you don't have to deal with it again. I don't know why I'm specifically picking this up for somebody here. You have a lot of connections. You have a lot of networks. Or you have a lot of friends or people you think you're cool with. This is definitely like a celebrity reading. It's giving me like a celebrity reading or giving me like a Fortune 500 um, or somebody here who has a lot of a ranking or, you know, they're up and coming or, you know, you really be in the streets like that. You really be in the entertainment industry. You really be like, um, how do you say, outside. All right. But this was the reading. Hope you did love it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay. Bye.